Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. A question I get asked a lot is what is the fastest horse in the game? This is understandable as horses play a huge role as the primary means of transportation and players want to make sure they have the best option possible. The short answer to the question is the Norfolk Roadster, the moonshine roll horse which maxes out at 10 speed. But the question should really be, do speed stats even matter? That's what we're going to take a look at today and at the end I'm going to give you my opinion on which stats are the most important for horses in Red Dead Online. Let's get into it! For this test, we use three different horses, a Kentucky Saddler with a base speed of three, the Black Arabian with a base speed of six, and the Norfolk Roadster with a base speed of seven. The reason I picked the Arabian and Roadster, even though they're very close in speed, is because the Arabian is an expensive gold bar purchase, and I want to show how the gold bar horse compares to a really fast horse that you can purchase with just money. Obviously, the Kentucky Saddler was purchased because of the low speed. Uh, in the first run, I used the Bellinger saddle with the base stirrups, and as you can see, each horse is starting with their base speed stats, and the stamina drain rate is at 0%. Okay, so here we have the Kentucky Saddler on the left and the Black Arabian on the right. I sped up the clips to save you from boredom, but basically the goal was to race from McFarland's Ranch to Tumbleweed and see which horse arrived there the fastest, and see if there was a big difference between the two. As you can see based on landmarks, the two horses are mostly keeping pace with each other. The saddler is just slightly behind the Arabian. I will say looking at the clips and actually riding the horses, the Arabian definitely feels faster, but I think this is mostly due to the visual animation of the horses. There's just one problem. With the base saddle and stirrups, there's nothing to help slow the stamina drain on the Kentucky saddler, and well, this happens when we reach the train tracks in Armadillo. So the first test wasn't quite a success as the Saddler didn't make it to the final destination. The Arabian went on to arrive in Tumbleweed with a time of approximately 4 minutes 11 seconds. It took the Arabian 2 minutes and 3 seconds to reach the train tracks in Armadillo and the Saddler was only slightly slower at 2 minutes and 10 seconds. Next up we put the 42 gold bar Black Arabian up against the $950 level 20 Norfolk Roadster. As you watch the clip, you can see that they keep pace for a little bit, but the Roadster does start to edge ahead slightly once they reach Armadillo. At the end of the clip, you can see that the Roadster reaches the final destination in Tumbleweed, but really only about two seconds faster than the Arabian. The Roadster also reached the train track six seconds faster than the Saddler. Again, not a huge difference between a horse that starts with a base speed of three and one that starts with a base speed of seven. For the next set of races, we put the best saddle and stirrups on the horses, the Nacogdoches saddle with the hooded stirrups. You can see this combo bumps the saddler's speed up to 6, the Arabian up to 9, and the Roadster up to 10, and it also gives the horses a stamina drain rate of negative 50%. We once again begin the race at McFarland's Ranch and race all the way to the bridge right before Tumbleweed. The level 20 Roadster is on the left, the Black Arabian in the middle, and the Kentucky Saddler on the right. You can see that the Roadster and Arabian keep pace with the Saddler only slightly behind. The benefit of this saddle and stirrup combo is that it's very hard to run out of stamina, it drains so slow. This is extremely beneficial to the Saddler, who has a much lower stamina than the Roadster and Arabian. This saddle and stirrup combo allows the Saddler to make it all the way to Tumbleweed with some stamina left over. The final times were Norfolk Roadster, 4 minutes 2 seconds, the Arabian 4 minutes 4 seconds, and the Saddler 4 minutes 11 seconds. Okay, here are my final thoughts. Aside from the races in this video, I've done numerous posse races and race series races. I've used the racehorses, the Missouri Foxtrotter, the American Standard Bread, and the Nakoda, just to name a few. And the conclusion I've come to is that the horse speeds really aren't that different. Rockstar did an amazing job with the horses, but the speed stops they really dropped the ball on. The Roadster should technically be much faster than the Saddler, but in the race it reached Tumbleweed only 7 seconds faster. The Saddler is only $50, the Black Arabian is 42 gold bars, and the Norfolk Roadster is $950. So if you're purchasing a horse solely because you want the fastest horse, you should ask yourself if the price is worth it. In my opinion, the stats that are more important when it comes to horse purchases are stamina and health. If you plan to purchase the Nakadocha saddle and hooded stirrups, you can pretty much purchase any horse you want from the low tier all the way up to the top tier, and you're going to get a great horse. This is because you already know the horse speeds are all about the same, and even if your horse has low stamina, the drain rate of that saddle and stirrup combo is going to make that stamina stat pretty much obsolete. If you're someone like myself who likes to pick saddles based on looks, 
and you like a horse that doesn't run out of stamina, you might want to pay attention to that stat and pick a higher one or a horse that has more stamina. For me personally, one of the most important stats in the horses I choose that I look at is the health stat. I like to go guns blazing into battles, and when I ride horses with lower health, I inevitably am going to need to revive them. But again, if you choose a horse with lower health, you can counter this simply by dismounting before you start shooting. In conclusion, pick the horse you like the look of. Best horse really is a myth. Any of the horses can be great, so try out some different ones to see what you like. If your horse has low stamina, choose a good saddle with hooded stirrups. If your horse has low health, try dismounting before you go into a gunfight. Don't get caught up in the price tag. The more expensive horses doesn't necessarily mean that they're the better ones. They're just the most popular horses, and Rockstar knows it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate it if you give it a like, and I'd love it if you'd leave a comment below letting me know what horse is your favorite in Red Dot Online and why. Thanks for watching.